know, Montana is one of the few western states that allows you to hunt mule deer during the rut. Now be advised that a big old trophy mule deer that's five, six, seven years old is a smart buck. And he won't allow you just to stumble in on him. He has many escape routes to get away from hunters. My strategy for hunting a trophy mule deer is to set up, find that buck, and pattern it. Now this buck right here is only 75 yards away from me. He was laying in this patch of timber. He will stay there in hopes that I will walk right past him. When I give him eye contact right there, that was all she wrote. The buck says, I'm had, I'm out of here. pretty good buck but he isn't quite what we're looking for there's another one up here that's a little wider uh, but that's a, a good 160 boxy buck really good buck we'll see if we can't find a better one though. this is the type of hunting I like to do for mule deer the rut is just now coming on. You notice I'm up here on a lookout. I can look a lot of country over. I got four or five bunches of does, and eventually a buck's gonna come in with these does. I'll sit here maybe two days and just glass and glass and glass. Now, if you're really looking for a trophy mule deer, this is one of the most effective ways to hunt trophy mule deer. Now, it isn't for everybody because you have to have a lot of patience. But once you find that buck, you key in on him, find these patterns, and then you can slip down and take him. So this is really the key to trophy mule deer hunting, is being able to be patient and finding a lookout like this that you can look a lot of country over. Bucks are just now coming out. This single buck, he's a three by four. Just a little buck, nothing we're looking for, but they are starting to move around a bit. That's the advantage, we're above him, he hasn't a clue we're around. We could pattern him if he was a big old buck. He doesn't have a, any does with him. He's kind of looking around for does. It's just the beginning of the rut. We're going to take off and go to a different spot and look around and see if we can find some more bucks before it gets dark. So come on. What I'm doing here is setting up, glassing, trying to find a good trophy mule deer. And a lot of times you got to be very patient and sort through lesser bucks and not get discouraged. He's a three point and he's got two cheaters, one on each side that'll make him about 26 inches wide. But he's just a big three point with a couple cheaters. He's really not what we're looking for, but maybe next year will be a real impressive deer with those cheaters. We're going to leave this buck alone and go to a different part of the country and set up and do some more glassing. Try to find that one buck that we can key in on and pattern and hunt. Don't get discouraged because if you get discouraged and take a lesser deer, then you will always regret it. It's walking up toward that water tank.
Yeah, that's the buck we want to go after. Now what we're going to do is try to pattern this buck. He's in a field. There's absolutely no way that we can hunt him right here. So the best thing we can do is just to sit up here, pattern him. Oh, he's leaving. There he goes, chasing that hot doe. Well, the next morning, we pick a little different lookout to look down on that buck in hopes that he'll show up again. And you know, he doesn't. He isn't in there this morning. So we ease along and start spotting up in the timber and on the slopes, and there he is. Evidently what happened is he came down to the fields and went back up very early. Now he's heading right now towards his bedding area. He's all alone. He must have uh, bred that hot doe, and he's kind of easing along here looking for more does. Well, he's about 25 inches wide. Slick four point, but on one side, on the on the driver's side, he's got an extra point off his G2. He's looking for bills. Most hunters would try to make a stock on that buck, but you know he's moving. The best thing I can do is just sit back here, follow him at a distance if I can, get up on a ridge, find out where his nest is. In other words, where he's bedding. Typically, these bucks like a certain area. It's like their home. And I've said that before in other videos, and you've watched me take bucks, and that's what they do. They have an area that they really like to stay in. Well, that's what we're doing here. We set up on another ridge and just watch him until he gets into his nest so we can find out where he's bedded and then set up and wait and hopefully get him as he's coming or going into his feeding area. You'll make a mistake here. They always do. But it's like a chess game. Who's going to have the most patience? You're the buck. You will be leading right into his hand if you go and make a stock on that buck right now or when he's in a position where he has several escape routes. So what we're going to do here is just sit back, watch the buck. He's a great buck. We're going to go in there. We're going to find out where he's living, and we're going to make a plan up. That's how I hunt trophy meal deer. Pick a deer like this and methodically hunt that buck. Now what we do here is I ease along here and I find him actually laying in a bunch of scrub pines. It's right on the edge of it. There's a gully that runs right underneath him, allowing me a perfect stalk right up within 100 yards of him. And that's what I do right here. I ease right up on the buck doesn't even know I'm there. He's sleeping there. It's probably 10.30 in the morning. And I am able to get right on this buck and he doesn't have a clue that I'm around. I take him right out of his bed, right here with a dead rest. Well, we finally got this buck, Tom, and uh, he's seven years old. I aged him, and uh, he gave us a slip a couple times. He's a smart old buck, but uh, we finally got him, didn't we? After seven days. Well, you know, he's an old black horned uh, mule deer. That's because he's living up here in this, uh, this timber country, and just hunting him and not getting sidetracked by other deer and finally taking the buck, and that's, that is really true trophy hunting the Eastman way.